Hey there, you're watching the Jessa channel on YouTube. I'm Jessa, and today I am here with more Dragon Age Origins. We have defeated Colgrim, who was a rather fanatical man who believes that Andraste is still alive, and we're about to see for ourselves. Yes, yes, let's gather our party and venture forth. Wow, cool. I love it, Gorm's walking behind us all happy. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. Oh, not at all. I love it. We're all hiding. <laughs> very wise. <laughs> very, very wise to be hiding. Oh. <laughs> Area unlocked mountaintop. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. What have we gotten ourselves into? Yeah. Oh, thanks, game. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Every time the game saves like that, it means we are about to get killed. A high dragon is not a joke. We'd best be careful. Real careful. Yep. Yep. I'm thinking you're right. I'm thinking you're very right. Oh, there it lies. You can actually try and attack it. I don't think so. <laughs> Let's just walk really quietly. Everybody tie your armor down so it doesn't clank and gore him for the love of all that's holy, no barking. So what's over here? Oh, that just takes us back to the ruined temple? Does this take us back to where Brother Genitivi is? Oh, it looks like it does. I'm just curious to see where this takes us. Oh, oh! That's where that passage went to that I asked about four or five episodes ago. Now I see. Yeah, this was all closed before. Okay. Okay, so it's basically the shortcut, which the developers were like, you can't just go through this way. You have to actually earn it. Oh, the water looks nice. Just noticed. Okay. It smells like stinky dragon up here. We're going to walk around this way and hope it doesn't notice us. <laughs> I assume this is our destination. And I will, before this playthrough is over, I will come back and attempt to kill that dragon. But I'm certainly not doing it at this level. <laughs> not unless you like watching people die over and over and over. <laughs> okay, so um, I suppose that the urn is being guarded by that dragon. That's probably what Ilias would think. Ilias probably would still not really believe that they thought that was Andraste. Ah. Herein lies... Do you feel that? This place is practically infused with magic. Infused. Let's get started. Like it's seeping out of the tea. Andraste's arrows. What does that mean? Interrupt spellcasting. Cool. We'll have a lot of new arrows for Liliana to use. On it. And a long sword. Okay, which probably, let me just check, is probably not red steel. Oh, it actually is better than what we have. We just don't have enough strength to carry it. Just curious if we have picked up any. Nope. That long sword would be very nice for Ilyas to have. I will work on getting her strength up. I think she only has. 
Yeah, just two points. The next level up, I will put it in strength and let her use that sword, because that looks very nice. Okay, here is our guardian. I bid you welcome, pilgrim. You... you must be the guardian that... I wonder if you could just do that. You could just attempt to kill him. Um, <laughs> you must be the guardian that Colgrim spoke of. Is that true? Yes, I am the guardian of the ashes. I have waited years for this. You have waited years for me? You are the first to arrive in a very long time. It has been my duty, my life, to protect the urn and prepare the way for the faithful who come to revere Andraste. For years beyond counting have I been here, and shall I remain until my task is done and the Imperium has crumbled into the sea. And your task, therefore, is endless? Or will it ever end? I do not know, and I do not question. Wow, that sounds incredibly boring. <laughs> okay, um... The dragon outside. Is that a guardian, or... Could that possibly be Andraste? No. Our Andraste has gone to the Maker's side. She will not return. The dragon is a fearsome creature, and they must have seen her as an alternative to the absent Maker and his silent Andraste. A true believer would not require audacious displays of power. What is the next question? Ilyas would be more concerned or most concerned about the urn of sacred ashes. What can you tell me about the urn of sacred ashes, guardian? You already know that the urn contains the remains of the prophet Andraste. What else is there to tell? Could you share with me what you know about the disciples of Andraste? When my brethren and I carried Andraste from Tevinter to this sanctuary, we vowed to forever revere her memory and guard her. I have watched generations of my brethren take up the mantle of their fathers. For centuries they did this, unwavering, joyful in their appointed task. But now they have lost their way. They have forgotten Andraste and their promise. The disciples no longer remember Andraste. And therefore it is true the dragon is not Andraste. But, um, I want to see his answer to this, I'm curious. No. Our Andraste has gone to the Maker's side. She will not return. The dragon is a fearsome creature, and they must have seen her as an alternative to the absent Maker and his silent Andraste. A true believer... Oh, yeah. That's... ...does not require audacious displays of power. Okay, yeah. Basically the same exact answer. Okay, um... There was a question back here that I wanted when to see. I'm going to skip this. From this one. I am all that remains of the first disciples. I swore I would protect the urn as long as I lived. And I have lived a very long time. She hasn't got enough cunning to pull this off, so I'm not even going to bother trying. You say you have lived a very long time. Do you have some secret for eternal life? How is it possible that you have lived so long? I made a vow to Andraste and to the Maker 
My life is tied to the ashes. As long as they remain, so will I. Therefore, I request to see the urn, Guardian. You have come to honor Andraste. And you shall, if you prove yourself worthy. I need the ashes, Guardian, to cure a noble man. These ashes are not for my own use. I do not have selfish motives in acquiring them. Still, you must prove yourself worthy. It is not my place to decide your worthiness. The gauntlet does that. If you are found worthy, you will see the urn and be allowed to take a small pinch of the ashes for yourself. If not... I will try not to consider what you mean by if not, and only inquire what is the gauntlet that you mention. The gauntlet tells the true pilgrims from the false. You will undergo four tests of faith, and we shall see how your soul fares. Then tell me more about this gauntlet. What tests of faith are these? You will understand what it is when you face it. Very well. Um, I'm going to say I'm not ready just because I'm hoping there's a few more questions we can ask him. Return when you are ready, and I shall open the way. I'm thinking that uh, the Guardian's uh, quest, the Guardian is voiced by the same person as Duncan. The voice sounds very uh, similar. If you survive, you will have proven yourself worthy. Okay, uh, I'm going to talk to him. I see you have returned. Do you still seek the ashes? The gauntlet awaits. Okay, well, I guess I missed my opportunity to ask him anything else. I stand ready, Guardian. Open the door. Before you go, there is something I must ask. I see that the path that led you here was not easy. There is suffering in your past. Your suffering, and the suffering of others. Balin's machinations led to Trio's oh. death and your exile. <gasps> you allowed this to happen. Oh, she wouldn't like that you at all. I think you failed, Trian. Oh, wow, this is interesting. Okay, uh, let's see, what would she say? So Trian, that's definitely not what she would say. She she loved Trian. Um, I'm not sure about that. I think that she would ask. She would attempt to. Um, what's the word? Uh, you know, dodge the question basically. But in her heart, this is what she feels. But Ilias, as cute as she is, is pretty egoic and probably wouldn't admit it right off the bat. Guardian, you speak of true things. How do you know of my past? Your path is laid out before me and plain to see. In the lines of your face and the scars on your heart. Do you believe you failed, Trian? Okay, so... After a long think, knowing that he could see through her so well, she would recognize that it is pointless to lie or hide. But it would be very embarrassing to admit this to her other companions, as she would see it as a sign of weakness, being that she is their commander. You see through me, True. Yes, I should have known the day that we were, Gorham and I, walking along 
and we ran into Bale and I should have known. I've been trained to read the faces of others. I have magic abilities. How could I have let this... How could I have let this happen? I should have known that he would do that to us. Thank you. That is all I wish to know. You are too hard on yourself. No one's perfect. Accept your failings, but do not let them govern your life. And now the self-flagellation? Well, that is what comes next in these things, no? And what of those that follow you? Alistair, Knight, and Warden. You wonder if things would have been different if you were with Duncan on the battlefield. You could have shielded him from the killing blow. You wonder, don't you, if you should have died and not him. I... Yes. If Duncan had been saved and not me, everything would be better. If I just had the chance, maybe I... Ask your question, Guardian. I am ready. You are ever the advisor, ready with a word of wisdom. Do you wonder if you spout only platitudes, burned into your mind in the distant past? Perhaps you are only a tool used to spread the word of the Circle and the Chantry. Does doubt ever chip away at your truths? You frame the statement in the form of a question, yet you already know our answers. There is no sense in hiding, is there? Yes, I do doubt at times. Only the fool is completely certain of himself. And the Antivan elf. Oh, is it my turn now? <laughs> Hurrah! I am so excited. <laughs> Many have died at your hand, <laughs> but is there any you regret more than a woman by the name of... How do you know about that? I know much. It is allowed to me. The question stands, however. Do you regret? Yes, the answer is yes, if that's what you wish to know. I do. Now move on. The way is open. Wow. Wow. Good luck, and may you find what you seek. The Guardian, otherwise known as the up-in-your-business-where-he-shouldn't-be man. <laughs> hmm. Okay. We come to... Many people here. Ghosts. Perhaps of the past. And I will bet that if we go to this door and try and open it, it will be locked. <laughs> yep. Just looking at these pots, wondering if there's like something we can get to drink or like a sandwich or something. Yeah, no. Okay. Here we go. This is Ilese. The smallest lark could carry it, while a strong man might not. Of what do I speak? The wind. Because a lark carries itself on the wind, on the wind, and a strong man, no matter how strong, cannot carry the wind. That is not of what I speak. Oh, effed up. <laughs> totally wrong. <laughs> okay, uh, exorcism this on this ash rape. And it resisted. And, um, glyph of repulsion, which didn't really do much. And, and then we froze everybody, you know. <laughs> The ash wraith, the ash wraith is like the minute I get out of this. Oh, and it's still hurting them. Cool. He's taking damage. I don't know how, but he is. Okay, and then we are freed first, and the ash wraith kicks our butt. <laughs> Stone fist didn't really do much. Gave a little damage. A little damage. Let's try a divine nova. And then I doubt it's gonna work, but turn on dead. Okay. Ooh, Alistair, are you okay there, buddy? And a level up for Alistair. Let's do that right now. I'm gonna um, 
Okay, he has one skill to level up. What shall it be? He has... Oh, it requires 12 cutting. That's important to know. Cool. That's actually very good. I'm going to take that. Uh, so... I also need to get his strength up, too. Yeah, I think I'm going to skip on the cunning and go all the way to strength because he has some armor that I want to get him into um, that is waiting for his strength to get up. And death blow, which is passive. And that's Alistair. Uh, I don't think Speak anyone off, fell yes. in battle there. Okay, so I was wrong. Let's try another one. Echoes from a shadow realm. Whispers of things yet to come. Thought's strange sister dwells in night, is swept away by dawning light. Of what do I speak? I, I'm going to need you to repeat that. I didn't follow that. Echoes from a shadow realm. Whispers of things yet to come. Thought's strange sister dwells in night, is swept away by dawning light. Of what do I speak? is swept away by dawning light as the moon. But it could also be dreams. I think it's dreams. Dream came upon yes. Me as my daughter slumbered beneath my heart. It told of her life and of her betrayal and death. I am sorrow and regret. I am a mother weeping bitter tears for a daughter she could not save. Okay, I'm really sorry to hear that, and I would definitely offer you a Kleenex if I could. Oops, that's Alistair. I want Ilias. But we got one, okay? We're, we're one and one right now. This is Lady Vasilia. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. The debt of blood must be paid in full. Of what do I speak? Well, that sounds definitely like vengeance. So let's try it. Yes. Yes. My husband, Hesarian, would have chosen a quick death for Andraste. I made him swear that she would die publicly with her war leaders, that all would know the Imperium's strength. I am justice. I am vengeance. Blood can only be repaid in blood. Hmm. She is a delight at parties. Let's do one more. This is Thane Chartan. I'd neither a guest nor a trespasser be. In this place I belong, that belongs also to me. Of what do I speak? I'm going to go for home. It was my dream for the people to have a home of their own, where we would have no masters but ourselves. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, and thus we followed Andraste against the Imperium. But she was betrayed, and so were we. It seems like each uh, ghost is giving us a little history of Andraste. Gorm's looking at this guy like, I've, I'm watching your back. If this moves, I'm on it. <laughs> okay, so we have four more ghosts to go, and we will do those four in the next episode. And I feel like this is the type of uh, the part of the game in which I will be very surprised if they don't put a very annoying puzzle in here <laughs> beyond these ghosts and the riddles. It just seems like the four tests just screams a time for the developers to put an unpleasant puzzle in so we'll see if that is true in the next episode but for now i'm so glad you joined me if you enjoyed what you saw please hit the thumbs up button below and if you loved what you saw join the party the ever-growing party and subscribe i'll see you back here in ferelden for more dragon age origins thanks
thank you as always for watching.